my next guest has won a Grammy. <laughs> I was I was going to try and say Grammy winning, but every time I try and say it, I crack it up. <laughs> my uh, next guest is a Grammy winning. Oh, there you are, singer and songwriter. His latest album, Gathering Mercury, is in stores now. <laughs> well, I'd be, but don't try and get it now because it's very late in your region. <laughs> Please welcome Colin Hay, everybody, Colin Hay. Colin Hay, how very nice to finally meet you. How are you? Good. You're quite, you're quite high, aren't you? Well, up there. high in what you mean? Excitable? No, you're, 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 you're up there, quite a height. Ra yes, I have my you're chair raised up and I have a snake cup, uh, and I do this because I'm insecure about my penis size. <laughs> It's actually, it's the law in late night TV, apparently, that the host has a chair that sits higher than the guest. I, it goes back to Henry VIII back, or something, yeah. Right. I heard, though, at the uh, Melbourne Comedy Festival, though, that you were there a long, long time ago. I was in Melbourne. Apparently, the, 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 the dust is still settling from when yeah, you were there. Yeah, I was, so. uh, I was still <laughs> whistling into liquor glasses. Um, I saw you, I saw you there one night. You were there? I was there, yeah. I'm sorry, man. It was good. <laughs> I still remember, I still remember one gag. Really? Yeah. I had gags? Yeah. Maybe yeah. it wasn't as bad as it, I thought it then. It was right? good. <laughs> it was good. You said, uh, you know, you say you should never um, annoy a bee. But how do you annoy a bee? Change the channel when it's, wa when it's, you know, when it's watching the television and it goes, I was watching that sting. You, uh, I remember you're, that, not, I remember you're not originally that. from Australia, are you, I Colin? I remember that all this time. Yeah, I, no, I, I um, you no, I'm, from, I'm from Saltcoats. Saltcoats uh, uh, in Scotland. It's, it's a, a town on the coast, I believe. It's a town on the coast that people from Glasgow used to come and destroy for a couple of weeks. Of, uh, every, every summer for a couple of weeks they would come and destroy it. <laughs> It's true, during the Glasgow Fair fortnight. Glasgow, uh, Glasgow guys were tough, you know. They were, I always used to see them walking down the street and they had winkle pickers and they were teddy boys then. Eating know? cockles from a bag. And, uh, <laughs> and I, used to, I used to want to be a Glasgow boy, but I could never be that because no. there was too many hills and dales in my blood from Ayrshire, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. So, and, but you then you went to Australia when I you were what? went to Australia. My, I was 14. One day my father came home and says, right, we're off to Australia. So that's where we went. We had a music shop in Scotland. Really? Aye. What did from, you from sell? Age, we sold guitars and pianos, drums and, and records and stuff. Yeah. Is that, and that's how you get into Men at Work? Because you were a Basically, musician? yes, basically. Oh, my father played me the Beatles. He says, listen to these guys. These guys are good. They'll do well, you know. And, but uh, wait, wait, wait. If you're originally from Scotland, when you sang that song, Do You Come From A Land Down Under, you should have said, not originally. That's right. <laughs> but it, 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 didn't, it didn't really... I couldn't fit it in, you know. No, well, no, that would work. Do I You Come a, From A Land Down, down Under, under not, not originally. originally. Yeah. <laughs> I was, ha I was having a hard enough time trying to, trying to rhyme breakfast with nervous. That was a very dodgy lyric. That was, yeah, I remember, remember that. Mm. Time and breakfast, I remember, remember nervous. nervous. Remember. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used to get nervous at breakfast time. Yeah. Usually about the time I was in the Melbourne Comedy Festival, That's actually, right, yeah. yeah. That's right. Every I breakfast I time. I to like, somebody, ah. I, said, I said to a friend of mine in Melbourne, I was talking to her, and I said, uh, I'm doing Craig Ferguson's show, and she said, oh, the dust is still settling from the mayhem that he created at the Melbourne Comedy, Comedy Festival. I said, please elaborate. And uh, she didn't. <laughs> Stay right there, buddy. You know what this is? This is American dollars. Yeah. You hang on to these and keep Thank your you mouth very much. shut. All right. <laughs> so this is your CD, then you say? Yes, it is. All right. Look. Do they still do the, the CDs? Do you have it on the iTunes, though? You have to I have it on the, the iTunes, iTunes, and it's yeah. in it's in that store. What store? Well, the store that's left. There's not very many stores that are left. So what, the, in the record store? You can get it in the record store. Do you remember when you used to go... I used to go into record stores when I was a kid, and there would always be some, forgive the word, douchebag, who would always be very kind of dismissive about your record collection. That's what I hated about it the most. What, going into, going into record stores? Yeah, and there would be always some guy going, oh, you're buying that. Mm. <laughs> That's right, yeah. But we used to have, we used to have uh, people from the Glasgow Fair coming down, and they would, they would buy up big every, every, every year. They'd come in and empty the store. We always had to have... Uh, there were certain records you always had to have. You had to have uh, Jim Reeves. Jim Reeves, yeah. Johnny Cash. Very, uh, very, very people important. from Glasgow love Johnny Cash. That's if you right. don't like Johnny Cash, I can have yourself, I say. So, I mean that. <laughs> you like Johnny Cash, though, right? I do like Johnny Cash. Yeah, well, there you are, then. We're going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs>
I see your accent, even although you left Scotland when you were 14, seems very uh, non-Australian. Well, I had an Australian accent. I had two accents. I always used to go home and see my parents. I'd say I'd speak like this, and then when I go out in the street, I'd speak like an Australian bloke just to assimilate, not get into fights. But no, I developed an Australian accent, and then it just went away uh, when I came over here. I came over here 20 years ago, and it just disappeared. Where do you live now, then? I live in Topanga Canyon. It's a very uh, <laughs> Topanga. Yeah, your accent's completely LA, man. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's what I'm hearing, Malibu. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. getting a bit of Topanga in there. Yeah, uh, well, there you are then. Well, what listen, else? um... What is that? Do you fancy, well, you'll probably fancy a mouth organ instead of an awkward pause, wouldn't you? I don't know, <laughs> well, maybe there's been a couple of awkward pauses already, so maybe we could have another one. I don't mind, I don't, I don't play the mouth organ, but I've you never don't? tried it, no. You come from a music store in Salkos, you were in, uh, do you come from a land down under, not My, originally, yeah, yeah. and uh, you still? <laughs> Well, who played the doo -doo 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 -doo? That was Greg. Oh. Yes, that was Greg. That wasn't on the mouth organ anyway, was no, it? No, that was on the flute. Oh, the flute. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, did you, did you play the flute when you were in Scotland? I did not. I played the recorder. Oh, yes, the recorder. For Mrs. Ah. Dougal. Yeah, recorder, we used to have to play them at school. The most irritating musical instrument That's in the history of correct. musical instruments. That's right. Yeah. Green sleeves. Always green sleeves. Yeah. Yes. Not a great, great song, I don't think. I look forward to your letters, Henry the Eighth fans. <laughs> Apparently he wrote that, uh, Green Sleeves. Yes, he did, yes. Do you think he did? I think he did, yes. Uh, Wait, did, when did he have time? Well, of, between all the beheadings. Yes. <laughs> and oppressing the Irish yeah, as right. well. He's yeah. beheading people, oppressing the Irish. That's a full time job that's right, right there. And he, and he, and he... <laughs> I think he ripped it off. I think he ripped it off one of his one of his uh, one of his troubadours, you know. Oh, yeah. Troubadours, eh? Yes, yes. That's nice. It's just... Are we doing the awkward pause now? I think then? we are. Yeah, right. Right. It's going quite well. I think it's uh, it's excellent. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, mouth organ though, fancy Sure, one? sure. Yeah, all right then. Uh, but you already say you can't play. I can't play. No. All right then. Well, just you know, suck and blow. <laughs> is there a, is there a, oh, yeah. One of the world's greatest harmonicas, that is. Well, you have the natural confidence of a born musician, though. Even although you can't play, I you can't go at it. But, but you go at it like. I you, go at it like a like I can. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Much like the way I approach this job. You ready? Yeah. Oh, well, th what? We're going to do it now. Well, you're going to rehearse it, it? No, you, no, no. You're. Well, there's no rehearsing in this show. Yeah. This no. is just but a, you're going to come back and actually play music. You're going to play music when you come back. I am, but this is a combination of the awkward pause and the harmonica playing, right? Oh, I like it. Yes. Oh, I like your style. All right. No, let's go for discords. Okay. Oh, right. that's what I was going for. But. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Right back, everybody. He's gonna come back before. to perform Send Somebody from his album Gathering Mercury. Please welcome the very talented Scottish-Australian Colin Hay, everybody. Colin Hay. Hello to who I'm talking to No more automation I'm hoping you can walk me through and solve my situation it's after midnight, I've been on hold so long You broke through the silence, now I'm not alone You're asking me to help you see The words begin to flow This was not my plan or my intention How was I to know? Such a short time I feel I've known you for so long But I don't think I can make it All on my own So send somebody Cause I'm stranded And there's no place left Where I can run Send somebody Cause I'm hanging You 
have to know I can't let go Now I made this connection It's either love that runs the show Or random speculation In my desperation I'm a danger to myself And I need your direction Yeah, I need someone else So send somebody Cause I'm stranded and there's no place left Where I can run Send somebody Cause I'm hanging by a thread Now the whole damn thing's undone From my window As the leaves begin 